we're now going to talk about domestic partners and the city budget right here in city. Um, and Ken, you, you settle down now? A little a little bit, I would promise to be a little less Charlie Sheen about this. Okay, one. all right, good. <laughs> all right. So, so, so we have a, uh, a domestic partner provision in our city in our city hall is that correct have i got that correct right and domestic partner means you know we're, we're, for you people that are brand new to this uh and that is that it, we're talking about not no longer the man and the woman partners it's, it's where you have a domestic partner and brother sister uh, boyfriend whatever girlfriend you. whatever well, whatever it's going to uh, be whoever actually most likely well I'll get to that and, uh, yeah yeah all right and, and but anyway and it's come up in what with a member of the police department yes um uh officer christine cronin uh we salute you certainly for your work that you do officer cronin um has registered herself and her domestic partner um uh on the registry list at the county which by the way the counties were allowed to do because uh james doyle's uh governor james doyle's um Sorry, Governor Doyle's uh, executive order a couple of years ago authorized that counties could set these up if they wanted to. There's not a mandate. Right. It's not a, it's not not official a law. law. It is not a law. It's not constitutional. It's an executive order. It's an executive order. So, uh, and frankly, uh, attention, Governor Scott Walker, you can overturn that if you choose to. Um, but the county has agreed to accept it, and we apparently have 59 couples registered as domestic partners. So part of the process is they must register this person. They can't just come up and say, hey, because it could just be a friend and they're, you know. Well, actually, they could, you can be whoever you want, really. They I don't know, but, 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 I mean, how transient can these friends be? I don't know how that works exactly. I don't know how you just go unfriend them. Maybe it's as easy as Facebook at this point. I'm not sure. Well, but, that um, would be a bit of a problem. It really that would. Simple. So, but the registration at least puts a little hoop to jump through. Right, right. Might not be much of a hoop. But <laughs> here's where the clicker comes in here, George. <laughs> when you have a city or government employee who now says, my domestic partner should be covered by my health care plan, my dental plan, my vision plan. Right. You're covering... And we we you're provide covering very nice... Uh, extremely. Uh, health care plans. And we're self-funded, I'm, I'm told, as well. That's right. Our city the city is self-funded. That's right. So here you have the situation where... Uh, Officer Cronin wants to include this person. You know, I don't know whether this person has uh, children who would also be therefore dependents that would also have to be added to this equation as well. Um, but there's really only one way we can address this in a fair way. I don't have anything against domestic partnerships if that's what you want to do, and your church yeah, or you yeah, individually or your your ship's captain will marry you to whoever you want to. I don't really care. I just don't think we should change the government definition of marriage to include those things. Again, no prejudice. Do what you want to. But don't don't change. Don't impose it upon the rest of the us rest to of pay us. for it type of thing. Right. So and, and even if you work at Walt Disney or you work for Johnson and they want to offer extend those benefits to domestic partners, their free choice to do that is independent private companies, and I think that's perfectly fine. And they can make up they can make up for it in the price of their goods if they want to, exactly which we right. have an option to buy or not. Right. Now here's well, when the you problem. Get the government, this is you, the city, George. We I know. can't we're out of money. I don't have an option, yeah, and I don't have we're an option money, to pay the my taxes out of money. or not. Right, that's right, right. And I'm you're buying, have, buying it whether I like it or not. So I think the way we should we should solve this is I, I believe once Act 10 goes into effect officially for the city of Racine, we're going to be in a position where health care is whatever the city dictates it to be. And I think the best fair way to do it would be to reduce that benefit to whatever Officer Christine Cronin is receiving as an individual uh, single, non-married, non-partnered person. Whatever her benefit is currently, we allow that benefit to the employee of the city who meets the same qualifications. Now, would this so apply also to married couples? Including, in married couples, or is it just too. down to individuals? Then? Right. So if the husband is a cop or the wife is a secretary or a firefighter or whatever, that, that person gets the benefit, and whatever additional benefits they want to, they can purchase them either on the open oh, market or they could buy into buy, they they could know, buy pay, into pay, themselves. Pay additional right. instead of the taxpayers paying for that additional exactly. premium. They pay for the additional I'm guessing premium. at the number, but let's say the number is $2,000 a year in, in insurance benefits that we're, we're offering. It's probably closer to ten, but let's say it's two. So we would say it's $2,000 is what you get as an individual. We're going to allow afford that $2,000 to anybody, and then if State Farm Insurance decides that they want to, by the way, they're not paying for this at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if State Farm decides they want to extend domestic partner benefits to anybody who happens to be a cop, then you could go to State Farm and say, I want to cover my domestic partner. And then you just pay whatever it is. That would be the completely most absolute fair way of handling this situation. I, I like that. In other words, someone who's working for the city, they've, they've got insurance taxpayer paid. With the police, it's 100%. Right. With uh, Well, actually, we're only concerned about the police. I think all this, none of this applies to the school district because that was an executive order, right? 
Uh, well, with the, I, with I, the I believe executive it, order only through the counties. I would support the same position with any government entity I know, from but the but state to the, the, the county to the city and the, and, the, and the schools. As far as you know, did the executive order apply to over here to the school districts because they're a little more independent than the. You know, I think it was. Are. I think the city accepted the, the position. I could okay. be wrong on that, and I will look into that, and I'll try to get you that answer. Right. We'll, we'll post that on CRG of Racine. Dot blogspot.com when I get that answer that way you can, you can uh, double yeah, check, check it out but but the point is is that is that you have this government employee that is has a an insurance policy with their wages it's included in the pay right. of what the taxpayers pay but it's we're going to get it down to it just one person now mm -hmm. and then whatever additional per people they want to put on there uh, husbands wives other partners kids whatever they would pay for separately. Yeah, for instance, you've got that two. Sounds, that sounds fair to me. George, I, I if, you've like got, if you've got two cops in a car, and one is a, a, a single person with a domestic partner, and the other person is a married person with a wife or, or husband and, and six children, well, right now the city's paying a huge chunk of money in insurance benefits for the, the married person with the six kids, uh -huh. and uh, the Officer Cronin, for instance, is not getting that same level of pay, assuming all things are equal right. and their years of service are the same. So let's make it so it's the same, because they're still going to maintain the union with the cops and the firefighters, because they're not covered by Act 10. We'll make sure that it's the same, and whether you're married or not, you get the same benefit, and it's limited to what the single persons would be, rather than making it the same as what the person with six children would be. That's good. All right. Well, you've heard it there, folks. That's, that's Thanks, Ken, for coming on and bring, bringing us that idea. Uh, anybody watching the show, you have county supervisors, you have all of them in the contact, and uh, you can visit uh, well, RacineTaxpayers.com, and we have a page. I'm with the Taxpayers Association, too. But Great organization. Page. You can page it, you can click on, and you, know, you can find out who just exactly who your representative is, and let's get the word out. If you, if you agree with it, let them know. If you disagree with them, let them know. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming. Right.